Welcome to my channel, Sunshine Shoulders. I'm Calvin. Thank you so much for stopping by again. Today is vlog four in my series of building our guest house for our subscribers here in St. Carlos City, Negros Occidental. They purchased uh, supplies for our roofing. By the time I get back from Zamboanga City, this roof will be on already. Her brother's gone to Cebu to buy the, he's going to buy the welding machine. One of our workers has the welding machine, but he wants to use his own because as part of his payment, we're going to buy it. And he'll be able to have his own when he goes on to future jobs. But for anybody who's new to this series, this is a, Three meters wide by five meters long structure. Budget is 250,000 pesos. A little bit less than 5,000 with the exchange rate being over 52 right now. It's going to be like a small studio for my subscribers. It's my way of saying thank you, giving back. And then remember, this is a community that I've created. This isn't just a typical blog i want a support group i spoke to well i didn't speak to him we were texting back and forth to one of my subscribers today and he had a, just a great idea and it gave me goosebumps he said he has some property that he's willing to let expats visit in the philippines stay for free he said texas to Zoy has his third floor that he said you're welcome to stay for free if you're in devile and then, of course, the guest house. He said, Calvin, we can get a couple of more people. He said, we should create a map for people visiting the Philippines and expats traveling around the Philippines of available rooms. Free rooms, guys, by the way. As a way of saying, we got your back. We support each other. And man, it was such a great idea. And I'm with that. So right now we've got three, well actually he's got two, two bedroom houses. He's already completed, then he's doing two more. So right now we've got like, we'll have like four places. But thank you Herbert for that suggestion, man. It was a great suggestion and, and I'm all for it. I'm part of that. Uh, now here's the bathroom. We ordered another 100 hollow blocks so they can finish it. But it's going to be about the size of the bathroom that we have in the house. And, you know, that's the bathroom window. You know, a lot of people, they're new to seeing the construction of buildings and houses over here in the Philippines. But this is just like my house was built. It's the same, and I know it looks crazy, but you'll see it start coming together. And of course, you're going to have your, we're going to run the counter around, along this wall in the back there. And then you'll have room for your computer. I guess we'll put the television here. Uh, yeah, because the bedroom, I'm standing in the bedroom now. It's not a whole lot of room for a bedroom, but remember... This is some place where you can shit, shower, shave, relax, get a tune-up if you want. And it's free. There's no money involved, man, you know. I'm going to have a space somewhere where you can, maybe a, along this wall here, yeah, where you're going to be able to sign your name, when you were here, where you were from. And one subscriber, he said, Calvin... Maybe you can ask your subscribers who stay there to leave something for the next uh, subscriber, like, you know, coffee or something, or maybe a candy bar, or, you know, maybe a beer or something. And it's a great idea. I want to do it. I'm listening. But man, you know, I wish there was a, Sunshine Shoulders Guest House for me when I came here. Because after being here for two weeks, man, your pockets need a rest. They're on fire. They're tired. <laughs> and, 
if you could get one or two days rest, man, that might just get you across the finish line, guys. Hold on, my shoe came off. And that's what I was telling my subscriber, Cal Ellis. I said, how long are you going to stay here, Cal? He said, I don't know. Depends on my po what my pockets look like. And I told him, well, make sure you make it back here because by the time he gets here, this guess out should be finished. I said, because you can stay there a couple of nights for free, man. Hell, we'll even feed you. That way give you a couple of extra days in the Philippines. Here's the supply room that these guys built. You got plenty um, cement still. I'll take you out here and show you. We've got our sand, the gravel. Now here's the gravel, of course, here. Then you've got the finished sand. Then the regular sand. They're sifting it now. Because they're going to be ready to start finishing that outside pretty soon. See, on the last vlog, this wasn't completed. It's completed now. They can start finishing this place. By the time I get back from Zamboanga visiting my son, that roof will be on. It'll be, you'll see, I stay there for about 7 to 10 days. This depends. What's going to really be hard is leaving again. But I'll go and pick him up when it's time for him to get his passport renewed. And I'll bring him here for a little while. Let him uh, meet his little sister. It's just so much to do for a 10-year-old here in San Carlos City versus where he lives in Zamboanga City. It's really nothing to do there. And, you know, his grandmother... She's getting older. She's two years older than me, so she'll be, let's see, if I'll be 59, she'll be 61. And, you know, it's just time for her to get a break. She raised her children. Well, the, the volcano's not out today. I wanted to show y'all it. And that way he can ride his bike out here. There's so much... He can go swim. He loves to swim. There's two swimming pools in People's Park. They have an infinity pool, by the way. Um, there's Center Mall. There's just so much to do. Sapaway Island. Because even though San Carlos City is really not, quote, unquote, a tourist place, there's really a lot of attractions close by here. And one, one of my subscribers said, Calvin, you're the attraction of San Carlos City. I said, come on, man. No, I'm not. But I want to do, I want to give a shout out to the one of my subscribers. He's a friend now, Freddie Sanders. He just bought his Filipino wife to America. They're down in Tampa, Florida. Man, I talked to him and his wife today. You can see, he just looks like a new man. I, uh, and it's a service. I'm not joking. He's, uh, I hardly recognized him, man. He looked different. And she even said it. She said, yeah, he was so grumpy. He was ready to give up and said he was going to go to Columbia and get a woman. And I said, yeah, you can imagine him being grumpy. You know, no Filipino tune-ups for three years. But, yeah, thank you, man, for calling me today. You made my day, really, because I like to see uh, success stories. She's only been there a week, but... I think they're going to make it. And she's going to have a easy transition being down in Florida. Especially when it really, when the weather really um, kicks in and it's Florida weather. Beaches there and the weather is not going to be too much different than the Philippines is 24 hours a day. She's just doing a little hand washing. But here's the the wash machine and I'm going to give you a story real quick about how crazy I am I'm going down to Dumaguete today now this is like a 5 hour flight I mean 5 hour ride on the bus it's a bumpy ride too and then later on tonight early Wednesday morning 3am I'll catch the 2 go which is a passenger liner here it's almost, it's real big. It's almost like a cruise ship. 
It actually could be a cruise ship. And then it's like a 15 to 18 hour ride to Zamboanga. Or I could go right over to Cebu, two hours from here, catch the Cebu Pacific flight and be there in 40 minutes. But because my anxiety has gotten me afraid to get on a plane, man. And once I get on a plane, I'm okay. Now imagine that. I'm talking about 23 hours versus 2 hours and 40 minutes. And that's one of the reasons I'm still over here in the Philippines. Now don't get me wrong. Once I get on the plane, I'm okay. But it's just getting on the plane. Two weeks before my flight, I can't sleep. My, my imagination starts working on me and Hell, the plane doesn't even make it off the runway before it crashes. You know, all this stupid stuff. I, I quit watching that air crash investigations and all of that. Because I'm going to tell you guys something. I used to be a silver medallion member with Delta, with the Sky Mask, Mask program. They would bump me up to first class. I did that twice, coming from the Philippines. But now, man, it, it, it just came out of nowhere in 2015. I was, uh, one of the companies I was working for, representing Anthem, Blue Cross Blue Shield, I needed to go out to California, to Los Angeles, right outside of Los Angeles. Here's our little puppy. Uh, this is Curly, everybody. Hey, Curly. I named him Curly after boobies uh, hair. But I was in Newberry, California, man, and they've got that... It's a beautiful place. I mean, it's a, it's up it's a uppity place though. They have the BMW place where they what do you call them cars that they don't you, you don't see them out on the they don't sell the cars, but this is where they make them. It's like a BMW laboratory or something, man. I mean, you, you see some freaked out BMWs. But anyway, I mean, it's a great opportunity. So the, the day of the flight, I'm supposed to fly from Louisville to Atlanta. Atlanta to LA. I'm getting ready to call the manager and say, man, that's okay. I don't, I, I can't go. And I got a call from a friend of mine. He kind of talked some reasoning to me. He said, Calvin, man, it's a great opportunity. Go ahead and do it. Got on the plane. I was okay. But on the way back, the shuttle, because I stayed there a week. On the way back, the shuttle comes to pick me up from the airport. And of course, I can't, uh, get on the plane. I don't even answer the door. I end up catching a um, Amtrak back home to Chicago, and then I caught the Greyhound from Chicago to Louisville, man. And my wife was like, where the hell are you? And I, you know, I, it's just good to show you, you know, like, you know, my anxiety is real, man. And I just give, put that out there for anybody who's maybe going through that. But thank y'all so much for letting me babble today. I just wanted to give you a little update because once I'm on that boat, I'm not going to be able to make any. I'll make a video on the boat, but I'm not going to be able to upload it until I arrive in Zamboanga. And Zamboanga, for all intents and purposes, is safe. People always ask me that here lately when they heard I was going. They've had some skirmishes. They had an insurgency in 2013, but I believe there's a peace treaty going on now. And they haven't had any problems. I've never had any trouble there. I mean, Christians and Muslims live right next to each other. Remember, they're Filipinos first and foremost. They, they you know, they're warm and welcoming like, like all the other Filipinos. And I tell you this all the time. I've never had any problems with Muslims. My problems have always been with Christians. It's not too many Muslim police and all that over in America, man. Most of them are professed Christians and politicians and all of that. But thank you so much for stopping by today. If you're in America, it's getting late. Before you let your head hit the pillow, please find somebody to help. But if you're on one of them late grocery runs, beer runs, weed runs, just getting off second shift, or you're on your lunch break, you see somebody in the street, but have something to eat, have something to drink, give them a few dollars. If you're in the Philippines, it's about 7.30 a.m. Tuesday morning, March the 15th, 2022. 
We have the whole rest of the day to find somebody to help. I'm going back down to Zamboanga where Sunset Shoulders began. And it's going to get emotional, man, because people there, they really supported me in the beginning. I mean, I didn't have but a handful of subscribers. No one was watching me. No one was watching my videos, by the way. But, I mean, the support that they gave me there. I'm going to do something special when I get there. And I'll make a video. I can't really buy Lachine because a lot of... The supporters down there are Muslim. They don't eat pork, but I'll find something to do. It's not a day goes by that I don't help somebody. There's a chicken. They asked me, how'd the chicken cross the road? Well, you can answer that yourself. He walked over there. Because if I don't know anything else, I know this one thing for sure. When we help other people, we help ourselves. Take care, stay safe, stay COVID-free. I'll see you next time.